Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, playing some more Scrap Mechanic. If you remember from the last episode, we were working on a little town here and I cannot drive. Let's try to correct this. But yeah, we built a couple things the last couple episodes. Uh, you had the car dealership and you had the car garage. Uh, there's a lot of cool things inside there. I would highly suggest checking those episodes out. Now, one thing that you might notice that's new, if you paid attention, is the whole fact that we have roads now. Roads and scrap mechanic. You guys were requesting that I put roads. I was a little hesitant. I wasn't really sure how I was going to make them work. Um, they have this issue, and this was... Like, I've had this issue before. I built a racetrack with pavement or the concrete blocks. And you get a little bit of lag, so you'll notice my character bounces here. And that's just something that's common. Um, I don't know how to fix it. So... If, when you're driving these vehicles up and down the road, you might get a little bit of this bounce. Uh, yeah, you can see it just ever so slightly. Actually, that one might have been because of the, I believe, a little bit of the uh, terrain's actually going up through the ground there. But in other areas, you get this little odd bounce. It's not too big of a deal, but that was one of the things that was kind of making me wonder if I wanted to do roads. But I actually think they came out really nice. Um, I'm just trying to figure out where I want to make them go and how I want to do this whole area. Now, the one thing you're going to notice here is the two new buildings. This is what we're showcasing today. I've heard a lot of requests. We wanted a paint shop and we wanted a gas station. So both of those have been made. These actually took a lot longer than I thought they would. Um, like I was figuring, all right, I can get this done in a couple hours. And here we are five hours later, but I'm really happy with them. Let's go ahead and jump into this and park under the awning I think we're gonna go over the gas station first and this thing doesn't turn really well I need to I need to get under this and maybe do a little bit of work because it just seems to be really stiff on the turning I don't know if I, I changed a couple things and I think I might have switched the wrong thing up in this diesel but anyways we'll we'll get back in there I'll look at that and try to fix that some other time so let's hop out here come on pop out the side there we go Anyways, this is a Mobile One station, or, you know, actually I don't think that the whole station is called Mobile One, I think they're just the provider of the fuel. Normally the station could be like an on the run or something, but I did keep the same color scheme as the Mobile One, so that it look nice. Now this kind of does look like the uh, post-apocalyptic Farmbot world had a gas station, and it was much smaller than this. Uh, the scale was kind of funky on that world. Like I had these full scale vehicles, but I didn't realize like the town was a little small. So I corrected that this time. The scale is actually correct. I mean, that's a diesel and you still got clearance under the awning. So that that's pretty good. But anyways, you've got your gas pumps up here. I really was confused about how to make these. Um, I think they came out pretty good. I might change them up a little bit. I really wish there was some sort of hose in the game, but there isn't. But I think for the parts that I have in the vanilla game, this is this is pretty good. Anyways, let's go ahead and walk in here, and you'll notice we'll just walk right through the doors. I haven't placed a door there yet. I don't know if I'm going to. I'm trying to minimize the amount of bearings in this world because that tends to create a lot of frame loss and lag, and I really like I'm enjoy I'm enjoying this so much that I I'm gonna keep the bearings to a minimum. But yeah. You walk into here, here's the big front counter where you would check out. You've got the big fridges over here full of beverages and all the good stuff. Uh, they don't open because it would be really pointless because there's nothing in them, but you can kind of see in them. Uh, use the glass here. Let's see, we've got a bunch of shelves and a bunch of other things in here. Now, I was trying to find a bunch of clutter to stick on these shelves and there's not much like this size to stick on there. Like you've got the duck, you've got the plants, the toilet paper rolls. So yeah, the shelves are kind of bare and a little disappointed by that. Maybe we can, uh, I don't know, maybe we can find some more stuff to stick on these, but anyways, you get that, you can go behind the counter here. You've got the, my attempt at a cash, cash register. Eh, looks okay. A little button under there. That could be the, uh, to shut off the fuel tanks, or that could be a panic button. Uh, normally gas stations have some sort of panic button under the counter. If you're getting robbed, you just click it and the police will come. Get a little shelf back here. Pretty nice. Um, 
over here you get some dining areas this is kind of like a uh, I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with the QTs or any of the gas stations that serve their most most times it's crappy food uh, you've got these little warmers here uh, you can get the food and you can go over here and dine it's a high-class dining there okay right in here you have a a crapper I mean everybody always like wants a lot of detail in these buildings and oddly enough I've been requested a lot like you need bathrooms well here's your bathroom all right let's move over here yeah I was highly satisfied with the way this building came out this took a long time to do and like I said that's the weird thing about scrap mechanic I could sit there and play for two hours and build some really cool vehicle like the diesel out there probably took me no more than about an hour maybe an hour and a half this this all took like four and a half five hours and I don't understand that maybe I'm just a slow builder of structures but uh, I'm really satisfied with the way this came out I like the awning here awnings kind of the same material that's used under, the, under there I didn't actually use like the solid uh, metal block I use these little panels I think they're for the shelves but they look good all right we're gonna walk over here this is the paint shop now honestly this thing should have probably been an add-on for that but the way the terrain is around that repair shop I couldn't fit it like I'd have to elevate it uh, like maybe I could have fit it over here but it's still the back end would have fallen off the uh, in a little thing here and oh, that looks like a jump but yeah I would have fallen off in this big hole so that wouldn't have looked right oh if you're wondering where that pixel art went there it is but uh yeah so I built a separate shop I'm kind of keeping this world or this town the, th the same theme uh, we're going with a scrap mechanic automobile type world so that's what I want to hear for suggestions uh, we're trying to keep it in this theme I'm not saying that we cannot build like some like random buildings but I like these theme buildings they, they feel they feel good they feel right for the game so anyways here's the paint shop you've got a little lobby area here nothing much you can watch your car being painted I'm not sure that would be very entertaining but we do have this little area here so let's shut that all right here's the uh, main little garage area the booth is set up over here um, I had to make it big normally I don't really see them this big but uh, I wanted to be able to fit at least a couple of my vehicles in there the uh, diesel definitely is not going in there but uh, this little car will go in and that truck might fit in and where's the other one? Oh yeah it's down by the dealership the uh, Hummer looking SUV thing will fit in there also but yeah you've got these large tanks this would be where the paint is stored I know a lot of the uh, paint shops like this use those spray uh, they don't they have these spray guns and like I said scrap mechanic doesn't have any sort of like hose so I'll show you all that in detail but anyways here's the storage for all the big tubs of paint so you would go over there hook them up and they would flow out the other end here let's go ahead and open this up Here's where you would drive your car in. I guess we can go ahead and let's go ahead and pull this one in. Try to make this look real here. Man, I'm really digging these streets. You know, initially when I uh, built these streets, they weren't wide enough. Like I had to expand them. Like they were wide enough just to fit the car down, but there was no area like around it. So I had to go back, and that was a pain because I had already built all the streets, and then I was like, oh crap, I've got to extend them all. So that kind of sucked. But yeah you drive in here and those actually move by the way uh, I just wanted to put them on bearings like they don't actually have a purpose but I like to pretend like they do that's what a lot of this is all about to be honest with you anyways you close that of course you don't want paint flying out so you would go in here and you would just paint away I mean I couldn't think of really any other way to make this function like you can't actually spray paint out of these guns or anything so it's just one of those things that it just needed to be in here so you just take your vehicle come in here and start spraying away like I said a lot of this is really for you guys just to play around with um, you guys request stuff like this all the time 
and I'm assuming it's because you hopefully take my creations and download them and try to have fun with them, maybe add your own stuff. So that's the hope for this world. And like, to me, it's just fun to do. It's fun. It gives me something that I can go in and work on and I don't have to worry about completely finishing it every time because something like this would take, if I were just to do this all in one shot, this would be like the only video you'd get probably for two weeks. Uh, that was the same with the apocalypse world. Like, there's a lot of stuff that I do want to add to this, so we've definitely got a lot of work to do. But I will, like, give you these downloads each update, so you don't have to wait until the end to finally get a hold of this if you want to go in and play around with it. But, yeah. Anyways, that's how that works. Um, nothing much. Like I said, you would come in here and paint your car. I'll leave a part of this unpainted, and you guys can come in here and finish it up. I'll just leave it in the shop. There we go. But yeah, let's talk a little bit about the future. And oh, look at this crappy uh, payphone and uh, ice, where you store ice, whatever that's called. Ice holder, ice thing. I uh, couldn't really figure out a way to do a payphone, so that actually, that actually doesn't look the greatest. But anyways, future plans. Um, we need to discuss them a little bit. I've got area to work here. Now, depending on what the game's going to want to do, uh, if this turns out any bit like the farm bot world, it might turn out and like, it might at any point say, we're going to start lagging really terribly, but I feel like we can fit some more stuff in here. I'm not sure what other buildings, like I've got a couple things in my head that I'm thinking about putting in here, but I would definitely love your guys' suggestions, your input, what you want to see, what you don't want to see. But, uh, yeah, see that bounciness? That bugs me. And, you know, I'm really not even sure it's going to pick up on YouTube, but you'll notice it if you come out in this world. There's just this roughness to this whole thing. And some people were guessing that it was like the uh, terrain under it was like going up and down. And that's true, but this same thing happens in the flat world. So I think it's just something to do with the game. But anyways, like I said, future plans. We've got this road to deal with. That road's eventually going to have to end because that terrain just starts going up and there's like hills and crap over there. But I've got a pretty, sh I'd say it's a pretty straight shot down that way and I've got quite a bit of room this way. And like I said, we could probably put an intersection over here and make it come around, like block this off. The terrain is a little crappy right here. You can see where the pavement or the concrete kind of ran out there. So we would have to go probably around this hill. Like I can't, elevated you know maybe I could make some sort of ramp or something we can get over this but I'm not really sure it's just gonna be really up to you guys I'm going to definitely work on it on this some more I just gotta find time it's just one of those things this is a very time consuming process but I will make it happen I will find time we'll work on this I've got some more viewer creations to look at I've got some my turmoil series that we started up but a couple other games I'm gonna look at so I've got a uh, busy week planned out for this whole channel so hopefully you enjoyed this video and like I said comment below let me know your suggestions and hey if you like to leave a like that's always good too but anyways we'll see you guys next time thank you